All right, so if we have the robot controller and we're unable to clear fault. So if we press reset and hold the deadman switch and we get this IMST input group one error. That means that the robot controller is looking for an external signal to get a clear safe signal. So we have to change two settings in the uh, system configuration to disable the control looking for an external signal. So we do that by pressing menu, pressing zero, then we go to system and then we go to config. Uh, so on the very top we have the enable UI signals. So this means you know, look for user input signals, look for an external device to give me input on where I'm at, where I'm going, if I'm safe or not. So we want to set this false. And then on the very bottom, near the bottom, there's a signal for remote versus local setup. So right now it's looking for a remote signal to be uh, um, able to run and uh, be clear. So we're going to change the remote to local. So to take effect, we have to reboot the controller. Once we do that, to confirm that the settings are correct, is uh, you should be able to pull the deadman switch now and it should clear the fault. So in other words, this was feeding our safety relays in class here, and we couldn't clear the faults because it was looking for some external information, either over Ethernet IP or hardwired, however it was configured, and it wasn't satisfying that condition, so we can never clear our safety circuits. This allows us to just look at the local, um, locally connected inputs for the safety circuit. This allows us to look, the controller's not looking for internal signals to be clear that no e-stop button is pressed on the teach pendant or the robot controller. Right. That's the only thing it's looking for now. Exactly. Great. Thank you.